I got a new tool. Stay tuned to find out more. I'm Rick, and this Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is the shack. Hey everybody, welcome. If you're new to the channel, or if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for taking some of that valuable time out of you. I truly, truly appreciate that. Hey, while you're here, why not subscribe? And when you do, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when the videos do come out. Well, I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag right now. I purchased a table saw um, Friday night, Black Friday, and I purchased a Harvey table saw. If you don't know about Harvey, they were actually the people making a lot of the equipment for other brands. So all you have to do really is look at Laguna, Grizzly, these other brands, and you'll see the similarities. They've taken this vast knowledge of putting these table saws, band saws, lays, all this stuff together for other brands and came up with their own and they decided to get into the market under their own name now. Fantastic for us because it's a quality piece of equipment at a very budget friendly price. Not cheap, but not Powermatic $5,000 cost. <laughs> Crazy. So if you are in the market for a table saw, I seriously suggest you look at Harvey before you look at anything else. I tell you right now, the price I got even on Black Friday versus the uh, Laguna F3, I still saved $300 on Black Friday cost. Their sale versus Harvey sale, I got the exact same saw, everything on it. The only thing different, which isn't a deal buster for me, I think Powermatic and Laguna have a digital tilt readout. I have gauges and things I can use. It's not a deal breaker. I'm still saving 300 versus paying 300 more just for that little readout. Not a big thing for me. Um, so I'm going to head down to Harvey. There is another table saw that came on sale Monday, Cyber Monday, that was the same price I paid, but a, I don't know, higher end, but it had a bigger horsepower motor. So I'm gonna go down there and talk to them, check this other table saw out, see how I like it, if I want to do it, then I'm going to talk price to them and see what I can come out with. I don't know if I'm going to keep what I have or I may upgrade. We'll just see what happens. So again, 11 o'clock, I got to get there. So we're done here. Let's get in the car. I got to head down to Montclair. Everybody, this is going to be a little bit different because it's on my phone. You're building. Um, going someplace today, and I'm going to talk to some people because I made a purchase, but I have more questions to ask. So I'm gonna flip around and see, and you can see where I'm going. There it is in the back. 10832. Is the address, and I don't know if they got a name up there anywhere, but we'll see if they say anything. Nope. So you guys have no idea where I'm going to. So, let me get any parking spot. We're going to go inside. I'm a little bit late. There was an accident on the freeway, as you saw in the beginning there. So this is one of my purchases I made on Black Friday.
Um, yeah. Let everybody know about this. So on the dovetail system, um, there are actual dovetails right. for this trunnion. Um, what it allows or controls is the vertical up and down motion. Um, this screw itself controls that up and down motion, and there's also a uh, gas right. pneumatic piston that helps. Is that like help assist, pushing it up? Assist that? pushing up? the the lift the and lift, lower. Right. Um, and you can try for yourself to kind of see that uh, in action. Um, and so what? That's uh, really smooth. Yeah. So what it pertains to is that it moves up and down in a linear axis, meaning the arbor itself will stay in line and move up and down in line, versus on a two horsepower pit or uh, the three horsepower one, it actually has a pivot point. Um, and I can kind of demonstrate that with this one. And unfortunately, since I don't have both wheels, so <laughs> took the handle off. We'll do it one. Um, so let me put it back to perpendicular real quick, just so we can see the same thing. So this lead screw is a lot more finer threaded, so tilting it takes a little bit longer. Um, but if when you start to raise and lower, so when I'm raising it, there's actually a pivot point. So exactly. pivot, hey, this yeah, way. your pivot point is right here, and what it is is it's swinging like that. So, so right. when you raise it, it's actually pivoting along oh. this axis right here. So actually, like like a mine is the same, but if you make a zero clearance, you'll actually have more in the back because it kind of goes up and down. Correct. correct. And then when you're lowering the blade, or if you're lowering it, it's gonna pull back, right. and then you'll have a, a gap in the front. Um, very, very similar in that sense. Um, and so there, that's the difference between the two trends. And you can try this one too, just to kind of see. Yeah, no, I know, it's just exactly how mine is. It looks yeah. cool. But they've been proven for years, because like I said, mine's 1950s and Correct. it's still it's, it's solid. Proven, yeah, it's proven a solid design in the Trunnion system. Um, again, it, there's nothing wrong with this one, but when it comes to a little, like accuracy-wise, it does, because it only has that as a, because this is a pivot point, um, again, this can, again, fishtail in a way. Is, oh, I see. So, yeah, like this noise. keeps it more stable on both sides. It keeps it solid. Correct. Or this one, it could have a variance going yeah, this way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and that's I never where, thought of that before. That's where the tolerance can happen, if it does happen. Right. Um, versus on that one, if as long as the dovetails are, again, sandwiched correctly, um, that's where the tight tolerance becomes nice uh, critical. Um, so, in a nutshell, that's pretty much the difference between the two. Do you have any thoughts as far as longevity with this going up and down, if it's going to wear? Um, Wear-wise, um, yes, it will wear over time. Um, to what severity, I don't know quite yet. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. That's my only concern, up and down, up and down, where, but it can only be a couple hundred thousands of that, maybe. Yeah. Do you guys do anything like a dry lube on this? Um, pretty much just grease or lubricant of some sort. Um, it doesn't have to be dry lube, but like, uh, these things are manufactured in intolerances where it, grease will work just fine. Um, Why is it thinking because of like the, the dust and stuff getting there? There is a huge, yeah, with my... there is a huge like, you know, argument then on, oh yeah, is it good to use grease to, let's say, you know, grease your um, threaded, you know, bearings and guides and so forth. And right. again, it, yes, it will attract dust, but it shouldn't affect or damage any components in the long run. Um, it will gunk, but again, you clean that off over time and when you maintain it, you should Technically, you're supposed to clean it, right? Then you know, re-grease or re-lube it. Yeah, um, here. With lube, it you know, because it's thin or a lower viscosity, it will want to tend to be more tedious in the sense of maintenance-wise. The lower viscosity probably means it'll dry or wear away faster than grease. So, yeah. Both are belt driven. Um, unfortunately, that one I don't have the belt on there. Yeah. Um, but very similar to like a automotive uh, belt, yeah. serpentine type belt. Um, that ain't too bad. No. I like this now. 
So that's the main difference is if you're asking about the trunnion system, that would be the difference between the two trunnions themselves. Um, I want to say on the really? G-Force, the one that you were looking at, it's going to be it's this that, design, but yeah. beefier to support a three-horse uh, motor. I have to first off say thank you to Hung and to Samantha. Hung took care of every question I possibly could come up with. He was very truthful with me. I appreciate that. Samantha did a phenomenal job as far as getting invoices, doing prices. Uh, my fault, I had forgot to include something. We were talking about it. She sent me the invoice of the new table saw and the, the new deal. I forgot to remind her about a couple of things because I wanted the, the thin riving knife and I wanted a zero clearance insert. So I emailed her back, hopefully I'll hear back tomorrow, and I asked, I completely forgot, I am so sorry, I was wanting the riving knife and the zero clearance insert. What kind of price can you give me to add those to this package? So when, when I go there to pick it up, it's complete. I originally got a price of just the table saw, minus the fence system, minus the, the Harvey miter because I purchased Incra's fin system for my table saw. Unfortunately, after I got the original invoice and a bunch of stuff happened, I got an email from Incra that is back ordered seven months now. There's so many people buying the Incra, it's seven months back now. I'm like, oh my God, I can't accept this price because now I need at least the fin system. The miter I don't need because I am buying the dubby system. If you don't know about that, check in the description below. I have a link to that. You have to watch it. That is a phenomenal sled system. I bought the left and the right. Well, I shouldn't say bought it. I actually tried to order it. Couldn't get it to go through. Emailed. I forget the name of the company now that has the dubby. Uh, something tool, inline tools or something. I forget what it was. Again, I'll have a link in it below. I'll say W system and the link to, to the site. Contacted them. Uh, Mr. Cole emailed me back, says, give me a call on my actual cell number. I'll get you information. We have one, we have a few around, but they're not complete. We're expecting the shipment in. We can get together and get a complete set for you. If you really want one, I say, yeah, I really want one. So hopefully in about three weeks, that should come in and I should be able to get that. So that will be here before my table saw. The Incra fin system won't be here till June or July of 2022. When I saw Monday, Cyber Monday, they had a sale at Harvey again, and that actually had a four horse table saw for the same price I just paid for a three horse. So I called them Tuesday, talked again with Samantha, and said, okay, I want to come down, check out this system. If I like it, would you still honor that price? She said, yeah. I said, fantastic, I'll be down there. That's why I went down there, check this out. Let's go in the house, I'll show you everything, the model numbers, all that stuff. And we'll come back out here and we're just gonna finish this up. Here is my email. This is my very first order. This is the HW110TC-52P. This is a 10 inch three horsepower cabinet table saw with the, the ability of a 52 inch cut to the right. $26.99, this is the introductory price on the new tool. Fortunately or unfortunately, I live in California, I say unfortunately, but at this moment, fortunately, because I am near the warehouse, so I have zero for pickup. I saved over $300 for shipping charges. So my grand total out the door for this was 2908.18. When I was at the warehouse talking with Samantha, I told her after I had talked with Hung and I said, yes, I want this. This is the invoice she gave me. This is the Alpha HW110S52P 10 inch four horsepower dovetail trunnion style cabinet saw. Still gave it to me at the same price, $26.99. Still no shipping charges. Still the same price, $29.08.18.
Now, as I finished up talking with Hong, Samantha came back out. We started talking price. As you saw the first one, I completely forgot, had reminder, oh, I didn't want the miter gauge, the Harvey miter gauge. Can we work something out? I would actually like an additional cast iron wing. No problem. Put that in. That's $200 wing for free. I emailed her back and asked about the Rivy knife and the zero clearance insert because I completely forgot about it. I wanted to add those just so I can have everything at once. I don't want to have things show up different times. I want it all at once. If they have it there, leave it there. That was it. So I don't know if I can get that. Basically, the Rivy knife is, I think, 40 something dollars. The insert plate is about 70 So depending on what kind of deal we work out, and me and the paying a little bit more money but still a very very good price so I'm gonna do a little comparison real quick some of the other brands give you an idea so mine is a 52 inch cut to the right four horsepower motor so let's check out Laguna this is a Laguna the Fusion 3 which would have a three horsepower motor $25.99 for the 36 inch. $29.99 for the 52 inch. I have the 52 inch from Harvey for $26.99, $300 cheaper. Look at it, it looks a lot like Harvey, but mine is a left tilt versus this is a right tilt. Dust collection top. And bottom the same basically same fence system the only difference is right here is that digital readout and I don't use the tilt that often that I need that I have tools to get a very precise tilt so for $300 more that wasn't a game changer or a deal breaker for me basically everything else is the same high low fence the high low uh readout here for for your uh measurements basically this all looks just like the harvey with just little slight variations and they do have something to hang the fence on but really my fence rarely comes off my table saw but i will be having the anchor system on it i won't need that anymore anyway <laughs> So that's basically it. Now if we head over to Powermatic, we can see how much more it costs for for actually a little bit less. This is the Powermatic website and these are all your options for various styles of table saws. The only thing that comes close to what I purchased, so here you are the 2000B with a five horse. There's a 50 inch, and again, Harvey 52, Powermatic is only 50, two inches shorter. This is a five horse, three phase, whereas you got a four horse, single phase. So we'll go back up here. The only one that comes close to that, comparable to the original one I purchased, is the 2000B. Now, I have watched videos on the 2000B and people complain about things going wrong. One guy had a horrendous experience, still doesn't work. He's had the table saw for a few months, still not right. And a lot of people across the board complain about the dust collection. And they all agree that Powermatic should take a page out of everybody else's book and get with the game and get the top dust collection connection and do better on the trunnion end the underneath dust collection so this is the one that's more comparable to the very first table saw I purchased again this is only 50 inch mine was 52 this has the digital readout just like the Laguna this is a right tilt mine is a left tilt to buy this not too many outlets have it as you see here the only ones are orange to buy everything else of you acme has nothing so let's do elite see what they say 
I checked all the prices many, many times and they're all the same, no matter which site you buy it from. So this is the three horsepower, 50 inch, 48.89.99. I paid 26.99.99. <laughs> yeah, major difference. Not as efficient dust collection, not as efficient below the table dust collection, shorter rip fence, doesn't even have the high low which a lot of them are doing now for the rip fence. I saw the prices, I didn't even consider Powermatic. No way, way too expensive. The Fusion three same things 52 inch I have a four horse versus three horse everything else is real comparable for three hundred dollars less so for me this was a no-brainer a win-win again this dial for the tilt may not be a big deal because I have woodpecker tools that give me very precise measurements and angles that I usually use when I got to do different angles on my table saw. Now I will note, you see the power switch right here. It is right in the way of your tilt. That is one thing that even Han suggested that they need to move this. So I don't know if that can change in the future, but I was looking at the angle iron that this fence system sets on right about here just past this i can actually drill into the angle iron drill and tap it move this over to set it there because on my cabinet this is where my on and off switch is presently that is a bad design that bad placement put it over here out of the way where it belongs out of the way of the handle and some people say you run into it all the time no, because if I'm cutting wide, I'm usually standing over here, especially if I'm going to be ripping sheets of plywood in half, and that's why I need the 48 inch depth to be able to rip those in half. I'll be standing here, nowhere near the switch. If this is even over here closer, if I'm cutting anything, I'm usually standing on this side of the blade, again, away from the switch here. It wouldn't be in my way. I wouldn't have an accidental shutting the power off with my leg or knee hitting that. So I will be moving this over here. <laughs> that is definitely one thing to do. This will give you all your specs. I like the fact that it's 31 and a half inches deep. Those are the two table saws, 36, 52. This is the one I got. That is the miter gauge that I chose not to get. It's 319 on sale now, normal 399. Just don't need all that because I have the dubby that I'll be using, so I don't need this. So that's why I am opting to get the other stuff at a discount price because I'm exchanging it or basically just trading it for this. You can come here, read more on it. The high low readings for the high low fence. What I really like is the 31 and a half inch depth. 44 inches wide and I am going to be at a 44 that would be about a 50 some inch from the edge to my second iron wing I am adding really nice wide solid surface the dovetail trunnion system you saw up close and personal so you can understand more how this is actually working really nice system and Real quickly, that shock right here is pushing up. It's basically like your hood in your car or the hatch in your SUV. Those shocks push out, helping to lift it easier. The weight of this coming back down, I could tell a noticeable difference raising the traditional trunnion system versus this trunnion system. It glides seriously. It's just like butter up and down because of the, the offset of the weight being pushed up by this shock and the weight of it bringing it back down. It just makes it very, very smooth. The dust collection on top versus Powermatic. They don't have any. This is great. The dust collection underneath is great. The riving knife 
very simple quick disconnect system on it basically your finger goes right here you flip it out it locks pull out your ivy knife put in the other one or if you whatever you need to do basically with your finger roll this back towards you it releases it and locks it back in place super super simple the dust collection top and bottom dual port because you got one coming to the top gets all the stuff coming from the bottom if you look at the dust collection this you can actually open this part up away from the trunnion system if you want more of a draft more suction for the vacuum to pull down or you leave it closed but this is actually a better setup than Laguna or Powermatic. All around, I am so impressed. I get the four horsepower cheaper than Laguna and way, way cheaper than Powermatic. We are done with the comparison. You've seen the prices I am getting. Phenomenal deal. Let's get back out to the shop and let's finish this video. After it's all said and done, I have the exact same price. I paid the $26.99 for the four horse. They're going to give me an additional wing on the right side. So I have two wings on the right, one on the left. I almost went with another wing on the left, but because I'm going to connect this table saw probably with two wings between that little extension or I may just go no nah, I want to go on the extension because it's solid outside so I can drill into it I will connect to that little extension put two of these on then the table saw and one wing on this side so it's going to be really really long plenty of room to do anything I want Harvey will be my main rip cut table saw this one will be retired over here less work and it will be the dedicated daddle setup that's why I got what I got I want the precision of the INCRA. It just will not show up in time. <laughs> so I have to deal with it until it arrives. And I want the thin riving knife. So when I do start making a few of the cutting boards, I have less waste of that material. But I do want that thin riving knife to save on the wood. So less of a cut, less material waste. And that's basically it. You saw what I got. I can't wait to pick it up uh, in the January. Don't go away. Make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to ring that bell because I have another tool showing up next week. It's going to sound weird on this, but if you're watching this when it comes out and watching in a couple days, this is after Thanksgiving. I have another tool showing up that's actually showing up in time. <laughs> that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back check. Brother for your sanity. I sacrificed many years, so don't hate me because I can afford some tools now. I sacrificed for many, many years. Thanks again. We will see you next video.